What we've done this morning was to run a double set of gels. I have a little bit of water, Millicue water, in a casserole dish. I'm going to float four pieces of nitrocellulose on the water. And when I run my Western transfer, I actually like to have two pieces of nitrocellulose per gel. So that's why I'm hydrating four pieces. Now we're going to pour off the water and add our transfer buffer, about a half an inch of transfer buffer. And we're going to wet one filter paper and put one nitrocellulose over the filter and then the second nitrocellulose right on top of that. So now let's take our gels out. We want to loosen it from its cassette, slide it right out. The straight edge of a, a spatula usually works to sort of pry the gel bottom open. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the tops of the wells, just scrape them off. And we're going from 1 to 10 from left to right. We actually want to sit down on the nitrocellulose in that same direction. So we're going to have to flip the gel off and then probably flip it back over once we're in the liquid. And I just turned it back over so that it's going 1 to 10 left to right. I'm lining it up on the nitrocellulose sandwich. And I, I would point out that I like to use the kaleidoscope standards in that way they show up very nicely. So we're going to wet a sponge that's going to go on the bottom. And we don't want any air bubbles. So we want to make sure that we press all the bubbles out, put a filter paper on top, wet the top sponge and now we gently lift the sandwich over onto the cassette. The important thing with this is to make sure that the nitrocellulose is next to the clear side. Slide the top on and then the nitrocellulose is closest to the clear side the clear side goes closest to the red on the transfer apparatus and it just slides right in. And now we're going to do the same thing with the other gel and we'll be ready to transfer. Clear goes towards the red and as it transfers remember that it's going towards the red. That's why it's so important to be sure you set up the sandwich in the right direction. Otherwise, the proteins would just transfer off right into the uh, buffer. Dry off the electrodes. And as the top goes in, red to red, black to black, we're actually going to transfer at 90 for about an hour and 10 minutes at constant voltage to make sure we've got bubbles when the transfer is over. If you don't see the kaleidoscope markers on your blot, chances are something went wrong with the transfer.